Hi, welcome to Lessons with John. Today we're going to try Against the Wind by Bob Seger. It's a G chord. I'm just going to play this four times for an intro while the piano's doing its thing. Um, it's, uh, it's a G chord. Uh, third string and first string, second fret, second string, third fret. And you're just going to go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. But that's our strum pattern. Really simple, just four times. Right into the verse. G twice to a B minor twice and then a C once, and then a G once, and then a D once, to a C once, and then a G da 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 da, and then a B minor twice, and then a C once, and then a G, and then a C, and then he stays on the D two times this time, okay? That's your verse, so, uh, Seems like yesterday is a G, B minor, da 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 da, and then a C once, da 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 da, to a G once, and then a D once, to a C once. Da 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 da, is G twice, and then B minor again twice. C once to G once, and then C once, and then D twice. Okay? some of the chords you're going to need. You know the G chord. The B minor, you bar the second fret, fourth string, fourth fret. That's our B minor. Your C chord, uh, first string, third fret. Okay, I'm just going to sneak my middle finger in there because I'm coming from the B minor. Uh, then you're going to need a D chord, which is the fourth string, third string, and second string at the second fret, open first string. That's it for that section. Uh, hopefully that's good enough. It's just down, down, up, up, down, up. Some of, the, some of them get two measures, some of them get one, or patterns, or whatever you want to call it. Um, the pre-chorus is, uh, you know, she said to me. Uh, so we're going to change our strum here. So this is going to be E minor, uh, third string, fourth fret, second string, third fret, first string, second fret. So right in a row like that, that's an E minor chord. And I believe there's only one more chord left. That's in the chorus, that's later on. So you got E minor, and you're going to change your strum to down, down, up, then the same thing on D, and then a G for a full measure. E minor, C, short, G for a full measure. E minor to D, and then C for two measures, and then a D for one. So I forget what the words are here, but it's like, um, she said to me, how she swore she would never leave. Da 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 da. You wish he didn't know now what he knows now, or that, <laughs> wish he didn't. Whatever it was, I can't keep the lyrics straight. Sorry, just can't do it. Um, so what we got is some of them are short patterns, and then we go back to that long pattern. So uh, E minor short, D short, and then the G is the regular pattern. E minor short, C short, and then G the long pattern. E minor short, D minor, D short, and then C long twice. And then a D for one pattern. Okay? Then you're off to the chorus. Um, so the chorus is a G chord. Uh, let's see, we need one new chord. Let's give it to you now. Fourth string, second fret, that's an A minor. That's going to creep up in our chorus, okay? And that's the last chord you need for the whole song. Okay, so against the wind is the G, against the wind, B minor, one time, C. He was running against the G chord, and then C to B minor, A minor to C, and then G. At the end it does this G four times, just kind of hangs out while the piano's tinkling around. So the chorus is one pattern of G, the long pattern, against the wind, B minor, long pattern, C long pattern, and then the G long pattern, and then the short pattern, down, down, up on a C, down, down, up on a B minor, same thing on the A minor, same thing on the C, and then the G is long for four times, okay, hopefully that's good enough, that's the against the wind part. All right, at this point in the song, we're going to do the verse again, the pre-chorus again, the chorus again, <laughs> 
Then there's a piano solo, which is just the verse. So for you, just play the chords. Uh, I didn't bother learning the piano solo. If you really want it, let me know. I don't know if we really need it. And then the pre-chorus comes back again. Uh, and then we have chorus three, which is slightly different. It's slightly longer, and that's going to lead us right to the outro out of the song. So, all right. So the chorus, the third chorus, is uh, it's a G against the wind is B minor, and then a C, and then a G, and then C to B minor, A minor to C, and then the G twice, and then the C to the B minor to the D. Running twice against the C, twice against the G, twice against the C, and against the G. And that leads us right into the outro, which is just C twice to the G twice. He's just saying against the wind, let the cowboys run. And that's the end of the song, they just keep fading out. It does it like eight times in a row, at, at, at maybe ten, something like that, and then they fade out. You would end on a G chord if you had to end <laughs> at some point. All right, so that last chorus, I think it's pretty, you know, pretty easy. It's, it's a G for one pattern, against the B minor for one pattern, C for a whole pattern, and then the G for the whole pattern. Here it's the short C, down, down, up, B minor short, A minor short, C short, and then the G for two full patterns, and then the short pattern on C, B minor short, and then the D's two patterns of the full one against the C, which is two patterns, and then you're off, you know, this is the end of the, it just basically just keeps doing this over and over again. Okay, and then technically here's the outro, let the cowboys run. <laughs> and it just keeps doing that over and over again. That's it. That's Against the Wind. Oh, hit the like button. Please subscribe. Play more hook.